Listening and Speaking for Level 4 Students Chapter 3 The objectives of this chapter include the following 1. To understand topics related to sociology by activating your background knowledge 2. To apply that knowledge in listening 3. To use vocabulary related to sociology in speaking the vocabulary log of this chapter include words like 1. Unexpected 2. Disposable 3. Impolite 4. Temptation 5. Mature 6. Isolated 7. Correspondence 8. Disabled 9. Drawback 10. Sociologist 11. Superficial 12. Harmful 13. Cyber relationships Now, you are required to listen to the conversation and then answer the questions that follow. Mom, I was thinking... I really need a new cell phone. Do, huh? Well, you already have a phone. Why would you need a new one? My phone's so old. It's huge, and it doesn't even have a camera. Oh, I see. And why exactly do you need a phone with a camera? Camera phones are really very useful, especially in an emergency. Besides, I can take pictures of my friends, and I can send pictures to other people. I mean, everyone has one. Tiffany has had one for over a year. Right. Well, maybe Tiffany's mother can buy one for you, too. <laughs> so will you buy me one? They're not that expensive. Look, Jessica, you don't need it. Besides, you spend enough time on the phone you have as it is. If you're not on the computer or text messaging someone, you're talking on the phone. And you already have a digital camera. If you want to take pictures, use that. But mom, when something unexpected happens, I don't always have my camera with me. Let's say we get into a car accident. If I have my camera phone, I can take a picture of the damage, or I can even take a picture of the other car's license plate. Look, I happen to have a disposable camera in the car just in case that happens, so that won't be necessary. But listen, that's not even the point. Like I said, how many times have I had to ask you to hang up with the phone you already have and come to dinner or, or help with the dishes? I've told you how impolite some of your phone behavior is, and I haven't seen much improvement. Ugh, what do you mean? Remember our conversation last month about the bill? Your father and I got you the phone for emergencies only. Yes, I know. Perhaps you and I define emergencies differently. And I've asked you not to talk loudly on your phone in public. And last week at your cousin Julia's wedding, your phone rang because you hadn't turned it off. That was embarrassing and incredibly rude. Mom, I understand. Believe me, I won't do that anymore. I'll use the phone less. I'll only use it for emergencies, and I'll keep it silenced when I have to. And I'm not so sure I like the idea of those camera phones anyway. Do you know what some people are doing with those camera phones? Students are taking pictures of tests and sending them to their friends. I've also heard some people are even taking embarrassing pictures of others and posting them on the Internet. I really don't want you to have one. The temptation for abuse is too high. Really, I can't believe you don't trust me. I would never do anything like that. Like that. Well, maybe you wouldn't, but your friends might. Look, if they thought an embarrassing situation was funny and asked you to take a picture of it, well, you'd be tempted to do it just because they asked you. Mom, we're not even allowed to use cell phones in school. I already know what to do if I have one. I'd keep the camera closed, and I wouldn't take pictures of anyone unless they said I could. You know, it's not just at school, either, Jessica. People are taking pictures of entire magazines, newspapers, and pages from books without buying them. This has been a real problem for bookstores. Those are other people, Mom, not me. And I wouldn't use it in bookstores. That's weird. But that's kind of besides the point, Mom. What would I have to do to prove to you that I'm mature enough to own a camera phone? 
Hmm, that's a good question. Well, for one thing, start limiting your calls and being conscientious about using the phone you have. Well, that'll do more to convince me than anything else. Then, when our current cell phone plan ends, maybe we can talk about it. But right now, the answer is no. Question number one. What does Jessica want? According to the audio track, Jessica wants a new cell phone with a camera. Jessica wants a new cell phone with a camera. Two, how does her mother feel about what Jessica wants? According to the audio track, Jessica's mother was unsatisfied. Jessica. Jessica's mother was unsatisfied because she thinks that Jessica does not need a new cell phone. She thinks that Jessica does not need a new cell phone. Yes. Question number three. At the end of their discussion, does Jessica's mother let Jessica get what she wants? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't.